two Detroit police officers knew a thing or two about making a difference. They're both part of Think Detroit PAL, a nonprofit that runs athletic, academic, and leadership programs for 12,000 local children. Fox 2 photojournalist Lisa Croft shows us their commitment to the kids. My name is Nelson Robinson. I am the president for the Northwest Detroit Cougars. My day job, I'm a Detroit police officer. Um, youth investigator with the city. My name is Officer Darnell Hall. I think Detroit Powell, I'm, also, I'm the track and field commission, also the football commission. I think Detroit Powell is a beautiful organization and really not only just think about the, you know, the sports side of it, but the academic piece. All we care about, don't get hurt, have fun, and go home and do some homework. We service a lot of kids in the Southeast Michigan area, over 11,000, probably 12,000 kids. We take the village, and that's what Think Detroit Powell is restoring. We're restoring the village. We do a school check. The coaches go into the schools and check. Uh, we make the kids bring us report cards. We want to see what's going on. We have tutoring. Parents are busy. You know, the economy's bad. Parents are busy, and they working. So sometimes you need a little help. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. I was a Powell kid. <laughs> I began cheering with the Northwest Cougars. I was involved with the ski program for about three years. I was involved with the basketball program for about seven years. So, I mean, I am the epitome of what PAL stands for, you know, and I, I attribute all of my success to organizations like PAL and Think Detroit PAL. Some of these kids, they come to practice and come to games just to escape the reality of their household. And so sometimes it's a place for them to just come be a kid and get all the negative things out of their mind. They're not thinking about having a bad day at home, thinking about having a bad day at school. They're around their friends, they're around great mentors, and they're just out there having a good time being a kid. I know you can do it. Just come on. Just come on. Just come on. Just come on. I build a relationship with the kids to where they understand the image that the police have is not really like that. My coach is a police and he loves me and he does everything. The police are okay. Just doing our best. And anything that we can do to help these kids is what we're going to do. Whether it's writing grants, if it's going to somebody field and begging for money, whatever we got to do for the kids to give them a better chance in life, we're going to do it. I'm living my purpose in life. It's not about finance, it's not about X's and O's, it's about really giving back and doing what I have to do. Darnell is a great guy, you know, a former track Olympian, and that he's out here for his city. You know, he's he's helped pave the way for a lot of kids to go to college and to be success beyond college, and I, I'm one of, I'm a result of that. My payment every day is when I walk through the mall or go down the street and the kids say, hey coach, how you doing? He just decided to see me. You know, that's my payment, that's, that's how we get paid. It's my destiny. It was meant for me to do what I'm doing, but I also need your help to make sure people like myself can continue to do what we need to do. Keep promoting, keep supporting Think Detroit Power because we need you. The city needs you. And that's coming from an Olympian. That's coming from a young man, well, a man now, who really knows that this is a great program for these kids in the Southeast Michigan area.